Yeah, so I want to show you how to cut a pinafore um, onesie or jumpsuit. So if you want to cut a pinafore onesie or jumpsuit, you need to have at least three meters of fabric. If you're using African print, then you need to have four yards. But if it's meters, three yards. Okay, so you fold when you cut individually. So I'm going to cut the front piece, then I'm going to use the front piece to cut the back piece. Is that easy? So you need the following measurements if you're going to cut a uh, pinafore like what you see in the picture up here. So you need um, your bust, you need your hip, you need your waist, you need the length of your onesie, you also need your um flap length you know but this time your flap length like for a, if you're making trousers it's going to come from your waist down to your crotch that's the crotch length sorry but in this instance when it's a onesie you're going to be measuring all the way from the top to the crotch to get the right length so i'm going to give you a trick that i use to cut accurately when i'm making my onesie it's fun it's a fun project and you will enjoy this so you also need to have um know how wide you want your pants or your onesie pinafore onesie to be so let's get started so i'm not going to be cutting on the exact fabric i'm going to be using for this project i'm going to be using um like just a sheet or of fabric a plain sheet of fabric to show you how to achieve this so what I have on the table is my fabric and I'm not folding it. I'm going to just leave it because it's like a pattern. So I'm going to assume that this bit here is my folded line. Okay, because if you're going to cut normally, you have to have two pieces for the front and two pieces also for the back. So this is going to serve as my front piece, but I'll be cutting just one of these. So, but when you're cutting, you need to have this unfold into two. So that's my length, okay? That's my width. So I'm going to tell you the secret to making a perfect onesie or jump in a foot jumpsuit like you see up there in the picture. So what you're going to be measuring from your shoulder all the way to the crotch. If you are a size 10 to a size 16, then depending on the kind of fabric you use, 32 to 33 inches length from the top to the crotch is perfect. But if you are bigger, if you're plus size, like from a size 18 to 22, then you want to use 34 to 35 inches for your crotch length. That's all the way from the top of your pinafore jumpsuit to the crotch. So you can note that, right? So I'll put this detail in the description box so you can have a look at that. So this is the fabric. Let's start cutting. So I'm going to get my tape and I have my chalk and my scissors. Yeah, so I'm going to, because it's a pinafore, I'm not going to measure from the top I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to create like a six inches, like as if you're cutting an off shoulder. So I'm going to measure from six inches and you do all the way to 32. Okay. And once you get to 32, you now mark that there, like so. So that's the 32 inches mark. Your crotch is going to begin. So I'm just going to mark that, right? That's the crotch length. So once you've got that, we want to create now, you know, the, the cuff to make our pants. So you want to measure, to get this measurement, you need your hip. Your hip plus one divided by four, right? So you measure that, and if it's a size 16 I'm cutting, that is going to be three, two and three quarter. So I'm just going to measure two and three quarter all the way to the top. Two and three quarter, two and three quarter, like so. So you get your ruler, like I'm going to get, and you just try to make a straight line. Okay. And when you get the L shape, the next thing you want to do is just make your curve at the bottom, like that. Right. So once you've done that, you want to go now to the top of your pinafore onesie and I'm going to measure from this bit 
I'm still going to leave like half an inch for sewing so it doesn't affect the measurement and depending on your size it can be anything from four to five inches right so I'm going to do for this since it's going to be like a size 14 16 four and a half inches for the top there right now I'm going to check what my waist length is going to be and remember on the top we left six inches out so the waist normally comes at about 16 inches right like that then to get your hip from 16 depending on your size you can add eight or nine or ten so i'm going to add eight inches to this so 24 that's where the hip is going to be so where the hip is you want to measure your hip divided by four okay so whatever it is right there by four then for the waist i'm not going to really take that into cognizance like exact weight but i'll still um exact exact width sorry i'm blabbing now <laughs> so i'm just going to measure that for the sake of having an idea of how this how um wide that should be so once that is done you want to get your ruler so what I'm going to do is, at this point, I'm going to create a curve that stops almost at the waistline, like, like that. And from there, I'm not taking the exact weight measurement. I'm just going to roll with my ruler to get like an A-line up to the hip. And from the hip downwards, it's going to go straight or go wide. And a simple secret I use is I just try to go straight in the first instance from the hip because I want this to be wide leg. I don't like my onesie or my pinafore to be tight fitted. So the secret is just create this long straight line like so. So that's it if it's a straight pant. And before I go on with that, I'll just, you know, come to the lap, you know, your tie. So you measure your tie divided right by um, two. One tie divided right by two. And this is where it gives me at this point. Okay. So you just come from under the crotch and you have that. So you also do this and make sure it's a straight line. You trace your straight line all the way to the bottom, like so. Right. So normally this is a straight leg onesie if you wanted it straight not too big is what you will get but i like mine to be wide leg you know wide leg pants so what's the secret what i do is at the base i add extra it depends on what you want five inches or three and a half inches whatever you like you just add that there and get your ruler and just trace you try to go like an a line okay to meet you know the point where you've got the hip so from the hip there you just measure right so join the line at the bottom so that gives you your white leg at the base so with that you're great so now this is practically sorted so all we need to do now is cut so when you're cutting you want to leave some one inch by the side so i'm leaving that and i'm going to cut all the way to the top we are almost there at the end of this onesie or um pinafore jumpsuit tutorial so you see just going to cut that and you come in here as well you can leave like half an inch if you want as well it's pretty easy and straightforward. You don't really need to fret when you're cutting this. So, great. So, that's it. One piece at the front panel. So, now we're going to cut the back panel. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and I'm going to get another. Piece of fabric so what you want to do is get the other bit 
but for the sake of the tutorial what i did was just to cut out the pieces of fabric so this is the back piece and it has to be two unfold as well so you take the front piece and you just place that over the back piece so i'm going to place that and you need this to be a bit longer because when it's a bit longer what happens is you get that extra fabric there to make the crotch very free so add extra five centimeters there okay extra five centimeters and you just trace and cut so get your scissors and you just need a cut along so if you want to add a zip you can just leave up an inch there to be able to add your zip if not you cut exactly as it is in the front so i'm going to also cut the same thing like so and yeah if you decide to leave an extra a half an inch also for the sewing for the back piece so don't forget this is just for the purpose of the tutorial but for your fabric if you just follow the steps as i've outlined then you'll be fine so for the back as i go up as i get towards the top bit i just go out a little like that to join that so you notice you have more fabric there so about one inch i just go out systematically right and yeah we've cut the back and the front piece now so once you've done that you're ready to sew what you need to do is to join one piece of the front of the jumpsuit suit the one piece of the back of the jumpsuit and you do same for the other side and once you you have both legs then you put one into the other and stitch from the front going all the way to the back right to be able to sew it perfectly so if you want to add a pocket before you take this apart you want to get your tape remember we're measuring from six inches and you come all the way to about 18 inches and you notch that bit so that shows you where your pocket is going to be there then also like you see in the picture there is a pocket here and there if you want feel free to play with it and do what you like so you cut the pocket and you stitch the pocket on the front piece and then um towards the on the leg on both legs if you want and at the back as well so this is done we need to also cut the strap because it's a pinafore guys so it needs a strap so you get some of your fabric okay and you just fold that into two so this is just the rough piece of fabric i used earlier and trying to just help you see how easy it is to cut your own pinafore once in like the one I, i'm wearing in the picture so yeah it's fun to wear you can wear it all year round just depends on the fabric you use to make it so you cut your fabric strap make sure it's about 16 inches long too make it as wide as you want but what i do is unfold i cut um three inches or two and a half inches then you stitch the side turn it turn it over okay then you're going to attach from the back you put that in right then the other bit comes to the front so if you want to use a button you can make it as long as 18 inches or 20 it depends on your bust really then you do your button all if you don't have a button or mesh machine like for mine you just put a loop at the base there and you put your button up here and yes you're ready to wear your pinafore so when you're sewing don't forget you need to fold the sides in so leave about three quarter inches at the end before you add this so it can be close to the end another little tip i'll give you is when you're fixing this into the pinafore the strap towards the side 
it's really at the back it needs to tilt a little bit don't make it it tilts to the side a little bit so it takes this in and it laps um better yeah so two of that strap and you're ready your pinafore is ready to be sewn and to cut your pocket it's really very easy and straightforward all you need to do is cut a piece of fabric and you fold that's for the front big pocket and depending on your bust i would recommend you make about five inches the width and the depth i i made for mine 10 inches so once you get that if it's a square or you want it rounded by all means do so you can play with it you don't have to do exactly what i did with mine so once you have that you've cut that all you need to do is get your iron and fold the sides in you fold the sides in then you have a clean sheet where you can stitch on directly into your pinafore and yes you are ready to rock your pinafore onesie so if you enjoyed my video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my video so you can still see you know more for me and you get notified when i post a video so if you want to be notified there you have the notification bell click on that and yes each time i post a video um you see it as a draw so thanks for watching and see you next time bye